welcome to my channel. I'm Alex from Alex and His Bags. So today I'm here with a new video which is a couple of unboxings. I have actually three little things to unbox today. Um, first of all, let me just show you the bag I'm currently using. So it's my Speedy My World Tour 30 Bandoulière. So yesterday I went to Louis Vuitton to check actually three things. Two of them I actually bought. And the last one was the ZP wallet, the ZP vertical wallet for men in Eclipse monogram. And yeah, I'm actually in the looking for a big wallet because for now I only have one with gold hardware. So without further ado, I'm going to open the Louis Vuitton package. So first of all, my newest Louis Vuitton additions. So I actually have two SLG to show you. This one isn't new. This one, I believe it's like really fresh. I don't think they ever done this before, so let's begin with this one. So let's just unwrap it. So obviously the packaging was way better because I just redid it myself. My essay actually does it better than I do, obviously. So excuse the knot and everything, but I always open my things like really fast for the drawer. And to be honest, after purchasing Louis Vuitton and Hermès at the same time, I have to admit that the boxes from Louis Vuitton are way more useful because the, like you just pull the drawer, whereas the Hermès one is like really annoying. And let me reveal my new card holder. So this is the Eclipse monogram card holder with the double slots because I know that Louis Vuitton actually does ones with only one slot on each on each side. I don't know if they do it for the empreintes but yeah uh, this one is really pretty so you have the LV right here and then you have only the flowers and everything. You can definitely put more than one card per slot because obviously it's like really stretched out it's canvas and mine, I'm not sure if you will be able to see, I doubt it, but mine is made in France because as I already said, my essay is like the best and she always finds me things made in France. I believe this was 200 euros. So yeah, I really wanted to add this to my collection for a while, then I completely forgot about it because I went on the LV website and just saw it and I was like, oh, is this new? Like, why don't, why don't I have it? And actually, added it to my wish list, but when I checked it was already on my wish list. so I don't know why I just completely forgot about it maybe it's because of Chanel so now I have two pieces in monogram eclipse and I really want to add the ZP wallet and a keypal one day so yeah I'm really a digger from monogram eclipse I really love it next up is a thing I actually never thought I would buy so when I went to Louis Vuitton two years ago I actually so this, not in this canvas, but my essay actually talked to me about the mini pochette, the multiclay 6 and this little cutie. And I was like, oh no, I don't think I'm this kind of person, but never say never, right? So when I saw that they were doing it in this canvas, I was like, I think I need one. And now that I have this one, I think I need two. So let me reveal you my new SLG, like my second new SLG, we'll say. And I actually have cheated with this one because I didn't want to reveal it without using it, so it's actually full. So let me reveal my brand new pochette clay. So you have the choice for this one, you can call it key pouch or pochette clay. In French please don't call it the key clay because it actually doesn't make sense at all it means key key so it yeah it's kind of dumb but by all means call it whatever you want but this one is called pochette clay or key pouch and it's really a classic from Louis Vuitton but it's in damier graffiti which is new and I think it's because Virgil of all bring the pochette clay from in monogram with like the big chunk chains and everything and then I guess they did it in Dami Graffiti as well. 
I actually wanted this because my Multiplay 6 is in gold hardware and I wanted something in silver hardware so I figured out that this one would be quite cool if only I was able to put all my keys inside and that was like a big deal for me because I actually carry a lot of keys I will show you what I have inside but as you can see I can close it like without any problem it's not chunky or whatever it doesn't lose its shape it's perfect I couldn't put anything more in it maybe one small key but that's it but I was able actually to fit a lot of things in this so first of all I have my car key which is so weird it looks like a credit card but it's actually so big and it doesn't fit in the multiplay 6 I have a magnetic badge to enter my parking through the elevator I have my magnetic badge to enter my residence then I have my home key, my parents' home key, and my mailbox key, and that's about it. So yeah, you can fit quite a lot. The only thing I wasn't able to fit is this one, because it's to open the gate to entrance my residency, and it's really big, so you can definitely pull it inside. There is no problem with this but I wouldn't be able to put everything else inside, so yeah. But I'm really happy with this because before purchasing this one, I actually had to use my Multiplayer 6 plus this little Gucci pouch. Yeah, it was taking like a bit of space, especially in my mini bags. And with this one, I actually have all my keys inside and just this extra and this, you can like put it in every bag, no problem. It's not like, it's not a key so it won't scratch the bag or anything so yeah I'm really happy with this and I'm pretty sure I will buy it in monogram as well I'm not planning on selling my multiplay 6 because if I move out from this place or whatever maybe it will become more useful and I'm not going to rush into buying the pouch in the monogram because I feel like I, I have to use it this one before to be sure but I'm pretty sure I will like buy it in monogram it's so useful in my opinion I only use it once but it was like a game changer not to have to look for separate keys in this pouch or in this pouch and yeah I feel like it's really nice plus it's kind of like a cheap entrance to Louis Vuitton in my opinion it's 140 euros which is really not bad I feel for an item you will use like every day and yeah and you have like this little hook as well which is LV and the opening is like you pull it like this and it opens and you pull it back to put it the only thing is I actually don't know what's supposed to do I guess it's to attach on the bag and not on the keys because originally I thought that you would put the keys around this but I actually can't put a lot I can put my badges or something but that's about it so yeah it's not really useful for me but I guess it can be to a lot of people so yeah that's my new thing and for the first time ever I actually purchase only men things at Louis Vuitton which is kind of strange and the last one is from Hermès so I was on my way out of Louis Vuitton and like the Hermès store was on my way back and actually this Hermès store I went only once and it was terrible I was meeting, I, I don't recall if I actually tell you the story on my channel, but the first time I went to Hermes in my city, I entered the store, nobody was talking to me except the security guard, which was like saying hello and following everywhere. So yeah, it's really a tiny store and nobody was paying attention to me. It wasn't crowdy, there were a lot of essays, they were just like talking to each other, which I can understand. But I had to, I had the time like to do the entire shop, to go upstairs and everything. And actually nobody was helping me or saying hello at least or whatever. Only the security guard was following me everywhere. And then I had to ask him if I could have some service. And I feel like if I went to Louis Vuitton on a Saturday and like it's so crowded, obviously I will wait because it's like common sense. But when you are in a store, especially a luxury store, where like a lot of essays are actually available, I feel like 
you would expect someone to actually just say hello if I can help you I'm right here like just come and ask and that's about it that's what I was asking so well he actually went to ask an essay to help me the essay was like so rude because she was almost like Ugh. and I felt like okay I, I haven't even started yet like just say bonjour and that's about it and I actually asked her because I was a newbie at Hermes, I didn't know a lot as, except from the Birkin and the Kelly and I asked her what she would advise me to start my collection with, it's, is it an SLG, is it a bag, it's like whatever and she was like oh I don't know like she wasn't really, she, she didn't look really interested to make me discover the brand and I feel like Hermes is such like a big deal about our craftsmanship, our history, our brand, our blah blah blah. Like you don't have to buy a bag, you have to embrace our culture and everything. And I was like so disappointed with this. So I actually didn't purchase anything and I never went back. I felt like it was maybe one year ago or something. So but this time I actually saw something on the website that I wanted. I couldn't find it in Cannes, so you probably might know what it is and I felt like okay I have nothing to lose so this time I went with the idea of getting service I guess I was actually thinking about something in particular so maybe it would have helped also I was I feel like I was like nicely dressed I had my Louis Vuitton shopping bag so maybe I was like a bit more serious like a serious customer Although I feel like in luxurious market you don't have to judge a book by its cover because sometimes the worst dressed people and the most rude people will have the millions to spend in your store so I feel like you can't do this like in every service area but especially in luxurious store. This time I actually had someone who came to me and who asked me if I could use any help or whatever. I'm really happy about this because I give them a, a second chance and actually this new essay I don't think he was around last time because he's really young and he was actually so nice I was able to score the thing I wanted so it's not his fault obviously but he was there and really helpful and I asked him about other bags or other SLGs and everything and he was like really he didn't know it all because Every time I was asking something, he was always checking the tag to be sure, but I actually don't mind. I feel like Hermes is like, there are so many colors, so many leathers and everything, you can't know it all. So I'm perfectly fine with someone that has to check the tag to confirm me if it's evergreen leather or Togo or Swift or whatever. So I have no problem with this. So I ended up with this, which was kind of planned, but not planned. I mean. I planned on buying this but I didn't plan on buying this so quickly because because I'm technically on Ban Island but yeah so it came with the Printemps Été catalog which is actually more like a magazine than a catalog because it actually doesn't look like a catalog at all the only thing interesting in it is all those drawings I feel like I always love Hermes Hart I always love Hermes art, I feel like it's so cute and yeah, is it like a coloring book or is it just a style? I actually don't know, but it's really nice. And the interesting thing I wanted to show you as well is something I actually didn't know, so I don't know if it's common knowledge or not, but actually Birkin exists in the cellier shape, which I actually didn't know but I just checked I don't think it's really a common a common style because I just checked like at the end of the catalog you actually have pricing and everything and I don't know if you will be able to see it's right here it's 1100 euros for this Birkin Cellier 35 in natural co it's kind of expensive in my opinion, so it's due to the leather, which is a very rare leather for Hermes to do. It's the natural leather, I know that they don't do it a lot, but plus the fact that this is a Cellier Birkin, I feel like it increased the price a lot. So then I have a little 
thing with the bill, obviously. And maybe by the shape of the box you will know what it is. I said that I wanted another one. I said that I was going to wait because it's not really reasonable, but obviously I didn't. I love those orange boxes. They are really nice. And let me reveal it to you. So I hope the sun will be with me to show you this incredible color. And let me reveal my new Bastia coin purse in Bleu Zanzibar. So this was originally the color I wanted for my first Bastia coin purse. I saw it online, I felt like it was really gorgeous, but they didn't have it in Cannes. So I actually have the Rouge de Coeur one and now I have two. I guess you can't have only one Bastia coin purse. Yeah, let me justify it like this. So this one, I'm actually not sure anymore, but I, I'm pretty sure it was Epsom leather. Maybe correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it looked like Epsom leather. And this one is actually a different type of leather, which kind of helped me justify the purchase as well. So it's kind of a grainy cow leather as well, but it's called Evergreen. So I'm not particularly familiar with this one, but it's the most soft Bastia coin purse I ever seen. Like you can squish it and do it everything. Whereas this one, you can't, it's kind of more stiff as well. You can see the difference with the shape. I'm going to put them like this. Like, can you see the difference in width? Like the, the blue one is definitely more slim because of the shape. Like if you don't fill it with something, it will obviously become like very flat, which I actually don't mind because it's like, it's just a, a coin purse. So yeah, that's my new cutie. I feel like this color is really amazing because actually in real life, it actually looks like not as bright. It's really so weird because on camera, it always looked like this bright, bright blue, like really a deep blue, but in real life, you can almost see it as like a teal blue or something, which is very like, yeah, I'm kind of blown away. So when he showed me the, this one, I was like, okay, I'm getting it. I actually don't care. So this one was retailing for 182 euros. I think from memory, this one was actually 179 euros, I think. I know that if depending on the leather, the price is actually changing. So yeah, these are my new, my three new SLGs. And one of the most satisfying things in my opinion is, don't you think they just go so well together? They are all silver hardware. Like in France, we say jamais 203, which means never two without three. I don't know if you have like a, a similar expression in English. So obviously I couldn't buy only two things, I need three, right? So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon for a new video. Bye bye.